On August 17, 2011, Siji volunteers and staff of Hualien Siji Hospital paid homage to bless all lives with liturgical prostrations at Jing Sahol Square. The day was the hospital's 25th anniversary. A blurry picture brought flashbacks to the August of 1984. Over a hundred Siji volunteers devoted their prayers to the success of hospital fundraising and establishment. Amidst the rain, the disciples piously performed the prostration ritual. Concerned with everyone being drenched, Master Zheng Yen tried to suspend the ritual. But all disciples refused to leave. Seeing this, Master Zheng Yen gave up her umbrella, led all and persisted in the liturgy. On September 10, 1972, a free clinic was established here. The service was held twice a week and persisted for 15 years. Poverty originates from sickness and vice versa. Master Zheng Yen concluded this from her devotion. In 1966, Siji Foundation was established. After six years of taking care of the poor, Siji began its medical mission in a house on the Renai Road of Hualien City. Beside Hualien City, the free clinic travelled as far as Taidong to treat the needy with free medicine. At that time, there was no railroad. To transport a patient from Hualien to Taipei would take over eight hours of driving. Though the sun shines first in the east, the people were the most underprivileged in the matter of life and death. Lots of poverty and illness stricken stories, so painful that they are beyond descriptions. There were several times that Master Zheng Yen suffered from the chest pain of angina pectoris, yet she devoutly prayed to shorten her lifespan in an exchange of the success of the hospital establishment. <laughs> On May 15, 1979, Master Zheng Yen told her followers that she's going to build a general hospital in Hualien, equipped with 500 to 600 beds. There were only 200 commissioners and 30,000 members at the time. The budget was not the 80 million NT Master Zheng Yen had estimated, it was 800 million NT, almost 80 times the amount of charitable funds that Siji received in a year. Besides his good wishes, Professor Chen was the first to act. He contributed almost 20 ounces of gold as the fund for the hospital. 
，啊，先生就说，来用红旗红线哈，啊，来凑凑这这个十五年安尼。The gold was the spring of all streams. Master Zheng Yan said, "If there's one day that she lives longer in the world, then she must seize the moment, collect all the strength, unite the love, and dig deep into the well." I decided to put the water in the well. I want to dig deep. 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 决定要做一个骨质的人。In the year of 1980, Yang Gangling, the governor of Taiwan, came to visit Master Zheng Yan. In the same year, President Jin Guojiang came to the Jingsa abode and realized that in Taiwan's rural east there was this ordinary abode and a group of Buddhist bhikkhunis who decline offerings and persist in doing charity. No wonder the county mayor and all the executive officers fully supported the project. In 1983, Sir Ji had found a tract of land in Hualien City. The cost of clearing and leveling was estimated over one million, but Master led her disciples and followers with hatchets and hoes in hands and cleared the desolate land without spending a cent of the donation. This was the ninth property that Suji had sought. The area was eight hectares. On February 5, 1983, the first groundbreaking of Suji Hospital took place. After the event, the National Department of Defense apologized to Master for taking back the land because it's too close to a military base. Master Zheng Yan was in anguish; she could not eat nor sleep, and every step she took wavered unsteadily. So, I think it was a broken heart and a broken heart. At that time, I can only say it was a hope. 透顶之后呢，心里面只有一个念头，就是说，我一定要坚强自己的意志，然后追随上人走这一条路。Since she could not build the hospital, Master Zheng Yan persisted in integrity and wanted to return all of the donations. However, if the donations were returned, the goal would crumble. Everyone's hard work would go to waste. How long did the people in Hualien have to wait for a life-saving and health-guarding fortress? With support from the public and government. On April 24, 1984, Hualien City Hospital's second groundbreaking ceremony took place. Looking back to the altruistic ideal, the hardships of saving lives turned into tears that remained in Master's eyes. Despite the ordeal, she withheld the tears to herself. When the construction began, the fund was still insufficient. All of the disciples and followers held fundraisers or dedicated their time and life to gather the construction fee. One commissioner, every ten thousand NT dollars she raised, prostrated Buddha for one hundred and eight times. Or some worked as housekeepers and donated a million NT dollars. 把片卖掉，人善志气无善，去搞人头给你参详，讲。我先给你领领头钱，你先，整年度要开给我。我无论安怎，我都听到说，讲要出诶一间皮房三十万。我迄个是少华中桥，伊拢一点都出无。Jin Yuan Song was a leprous patient at Le Seng Sanatorium. She mobilized a heart lotus fundraiser. Each lotus from our heart was sold for ten thousand NT. A 师傅的莲花那有有正的莲花来给你，俺咱的新年就是恁个人师傅主持喏，要给你种莲花啦。我们不是说我做了好多事。
，而是我们感恩有这个机会。福建一方，要天拉神助，心连万水，做主这世界。心连万水，做主这世界。After two months of fundraising, Lershan raised half a million NT to sponsor Hualien Siji Hospital. Twenty years later, they donated another half million NT to help build Taipei Siji Hospital. Although suffering from deformities, Lershan surpassed ethereal purity in spirit. The nameless in Taiwan created a new era. In 1986, Hualien Siji Hospital finally opened. Even though the hospital would face over a million NT in deficit every month, the life-saving project embarked with determination. It was the first piece of government land that had been sold to a private ownership. This was also the first hospital cancelled in the advance deposit free. Master Jingyan said, if heart and effort could take form, Every brick and tile would be mixed with the volunteers' blood and sweat. Professionals also sponsored the hospital, such as Dr. Shi Miandu, the founding father of Taiwan's ENT, Dr. Wen Bingzhen. Taiwan's Blackfoot Disease Authority, and Dr. Si Biao Yang, Taiwan's pulmonary medicine expert. All the leading medical experts in Taiwan came to Hualien voluntarily, organized the board of directors, and returned to National Taiwan University to persuade doctors to work in Hualien. Inheriting the predecessor's expectations, Dr. Ying He Chen was the first doctor to sign the contract with Siji. He is now the world-known authority in ankylosing spondylitis. Zhihui Lin, being a nurse for over half a century, ensured the safety of surgical procedures. Dr. Ying He Chen, being a nurse for over half a century, ensured the safety of surgical procedures in the central sterile supply department. Volunteer Hui Min Yan serves in the hospital permanently. Yan has dedicated her life to nurture the humanistic culture of Tsuji's medical mission. The architect Chang Ji Xu took on the hospital's case, though at a loss. His magical design presents the hospital in the shape of the majestic Buddhist swastika. Shui Long Yan, a maestro of art, his last piece of mosaic art was Buddha cares for the sick. The mosaic covers from ceiling to floor. It signifies the Buddha uprooting pain and returning the world in compassion. Master Zheng Yan's grand goal of saving lives has never ceased to move forward. Since 1999, six hospitals saved lots of lives, including Yuli Tsuji Hospital, Guanshan Tsuji Hospital, Dalin Tsuji Hospital, Taipei Tsuji Hospital, and Taichung Tsuji Hospital. Hualien Tsuji Hospital has even become the only medical center in eastern Taiwan. The network of love vows to safeguard all lives with humanitarianism. In 1985, Tsuji started promoting organ donation. In 1993. The establishment of Tsuji Stem Cell Center became the largest in Asia. In 1995, TCU's medical students had gross anatomy on voluntary cadavers. The voluntary donor list numbered over 30,000, ranking the first in the world. In 1996, Tima was established and performed free medical care without borders, cured the needy all over the globe. Looking back in history, it is the largest scale in the 2,500 years of Buddhism for medical achievements. 
and look at these faces who have devoted their lives for Tsuji's medical mission. Some donated life savings, even their coffin money. Some have given their bodies, becoming the silent mentors and allowing doctors to make incisions on them. Those nameless people have become the ultimate models of humanity. They firmly believe this lyric summed up their missions of life. Zu Zelang, 